All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back. And look at Teresa. You know, you hate to see her go, but you love to watch her walk away. <laughs> welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. In the last episode, we lost our sword to Sir Radzig. Or no, no. No, I said that wrong. <laughs> we lost Sir Radzig's sword to a group of bandits. Uh, thugs, if you want to call them that. Uh, and our, we were trying to bury Henry's uh, parents... Uh, which we partially did, but uh, Sir Robert or Rob, Robert, whatever his name is, he finished the job. So let's go in here, get our stuff back. So the DLC have been activ activated at this point. That's why we have a bunch of treasure maps. So I'm really excited to do that kind of passively throughout this playthrough. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take all of our items. There's another cool thing that you get uh, at the start of this game, which I don't remember getting the first time playing through. You get, let's go to the ar um, armor real quick. You get a, a Warhorse Gambison, uh, which I believe is how you pronounce it. That's really cool. Look at that. That is fancy as hell, and it's actually the best piece of armor that I have. Um, it does the most defense compared to everything else in my inventory. So we're definitely going to be putting that on. Look at Henry. He looks a little sad. I mean, I know his parents were brutally killed, but we'll go ahead and equip this shard because I think it does the most damage. We'll get this uh, shield, and yeah, I think that's everything. So, this is where the story begins, guys. Right here. Are we carrying too much? Really? Hold on, by how much? Let's see, what can we drop here? I definitely, I, uh, it's not too bad. We can just quickly go to the, um, the city and, um, you know sell some stuff all right let's go ahead and wash up here a little bit too just wash up right here ah. and all the dlc have been activated so very cool and again this is like the part of the the story where it's like open world you know the world is your oyster oyster or whatever they whatever they say all right so <laughs> we need to talk to miller pes pes Okay, what we we gotta talk to her uncle so let's go do that now because we we kind of owe him let's see let's see what he has to say uh i'm henry thanks for taking care of me my name's henry thank you for taking care of me here my name's peshek and i'm here you've already met my niece teresa teresa took care of you for two oh, old teresa while you were in limbo and talking of you being at death's door while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Uh, is this Amazon drop shipping? If it is, I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see, what do you need from me? What would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else... I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Okay, so I think I've decided, essentially, especially since the last couple episodes, I've taken more of an honorable night, nightly path, you know, where uh, I didn't kill anybody uh, it, it's pretty crazy right like all the people i engaged all the bandits at least i don't remember killing anyone i'm gonna go with the honorable knight sort of thing 
like super honorable. You know, I could like very merciful and very honorable. Uh, it might make this campaign a little bit more challenging. It might. Um, but that's how I'm going to play because I'm pretty sure the first playthrough I did whatever it took, right? Uh, I think I even killed some like priest. <laughs> If you guys remember when I was stuck in the cathedral or whatever, but <laughs> we're gonna tell him forget it. I'm not sure dealing with corpses is a job for me. I don't want that kind of stain on my conscience or my reputation. Find someone else. Suit yourself. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back and quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Believe me. Take care now. Okay, um, well, how much does he need? I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. How much, how much was, I, I don't even know how much gold it was. How much did I give him? All right, tell me about the job you wanted me to do. Tell me something about the other millers. Can you tell me something about the other millers? I'm trying to get my speech There's up. There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsick and Kohelnitz and Simon and Sasa. Kohelnitz. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately... He got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. I also like how Henry's like, I don't touch. Nobody should touch touch corpses except for the executioner. And literally the last episode, I went through like almost every dead body at Scarlet's. <laughs> what about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Hmm. Okay, tell me something about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. All right. The thing you wanted, I don't want to do it. I, I mean, I think he knows that. That job you wanted me to do, I won't do it. I pay both you and the apothecary, so we're even. You're an ungrateful pup, aren't you? Well, suit yourself. If you ever need anything, you know where not to go. Farewell. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know where not to go. Oh, hey. Hey, it's the dog. I always wondered what happened to him. He's just... Oh, look, he's digging. Oh, my God, there's a body under there. No. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go talk to Teresa. Let's see. Is this a DLC quest? New DLC quest. Oh. Oh, there's some new DLC quest. Okay. Uh, how much money did we lose, by the way? Uh, I don't remember. I wish it said how many we gave. I think we lost like half or something. We still have 21 gold. Uh, let's let's do the Teresa thing. I heard. Uh, okay, yo. Uh, or do you want to wait? We'll do the Teresa thing. That's the great thing about this campaign. We're taking it slow. Uh, yes, it was very good. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Greetings, Henry. Hey, Teresa, um, what's that dog wandering around here? What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mart along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. What a good boy. How's he doing? How's he doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. 
What does the miller think about me? Probably not well. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Or him. Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. <laughs> and it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. Oh, come on. That would be a waste of time. Uh, is he obedient? Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoilt then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. But he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. So I thought maybe you might take him with you? <gasps> me? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one. Um, <laughs> yes? What the heck? This game's awesome. I didn't know you could have a dog companion. Okay, hold on. I gotta fix my headset here really quick. It's, um, it's wireless. I don't know. You might have heard some beeps there, but, um, it beeps when it's low. Anyways, it's really annoying. Uh, I'll take him. Uh, all right. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Hell yes! I didn't even know this was a thing! He's sniffing around somewhere here. Uh, yeah. Come here, buddy. No, no, no. Leave, leave that ungrateful guy alone. Hey, Mutt. Remember me. Who doesn't want a dog companion? Scalics. Remember? God. You want to go with me? Come on then. We'll get on like a house on fire. Follow me. Dog. From this moment, you have a canine companion. Okay. I'm sorry, but humans do not deserve dogs. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyone who doesn't want a dog companion can go to hell, okay? Uh, no. This is awesome. Um... He's your best friend who will protect and help you, but you must take good care of him. You can talk to him and feed him, ideally with meat. Uh, give him commands and reward him with praise. Uh, with this cursor, you can give him all sorts of commands. Holding uh, X. Heal. You also have a new skill called Hound Master. It determines how well your dog is trained and what commands you've taught him. You gain experience by using commands and other interactions when you... With your four-legged friend and the sidekicks tab you can see the stats the most important one is obedience it tells you whether your dog obeys you or not its level will keep falling with every injury and also if you ne neglect your dog for a long time of if obedience falls too low your dog will stop he uh, heeding some of the commands if it falls to zero your dog will run off and it takes some time before he comes back to you. During that time, you won't be able to give him commands. The higher his obedience, the higher stats the dog has. He will defend himself and you better. Cause greater damage to foes and will take longer before he decides to run off again. You can improve your dog's obedience mainly by feeding and praising him. But doing it several times in succession over a short period is less effective than feeding and praising him regularly. Okay. So basically, we've got to um, feed them. And how do I feed them? Um, don't drink that. That's not dirty water. Dirty water. Okay. Um, we got some dried meat. How do I feed him though? Sense of smell. Oh, cool. Obedience fifty. Current command free. <laughs> Look, he's licking his butthole. Come on. All right, um, how do I feed him? Maybe if, if I, 
Let me let me just talk to him. Other commands. Go back to the mi free. What does free mean? Okay, so I can tell him to stay. Okay, let's feed him. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Um, yeah, give him some dried meat. There you go, buddy. Eat up. Oh my god, I have a dog companion. It's another thing to manage, but... I mean, he's pretty cool. I had no idea this was in the game. You guys also mentioned stuff in comments of, like, things I could have done that I've never even heard of, so... Oh, he's peeing on the on the flowers. Let me pick him. Yeah, we'll, we'll end dialogue. I don't want to overdo it. Um, let's go. I, I kind of wanted to do the Teresa thing. We'll, we'll do it another time. You following me? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. Buddy? Um. Follow? Okay, I don't see a follow. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna go. There we go. He's following now. Now, do I... I don't have a horse yet. Oh, we, we've yet to meet my other companion, which is um, Pebbles. Now, I love Pebbles. Don't get me wrong. And I think we... If, especially if you watch the original playthrough, Pebbles was a great, great horse. But I think... I want to expand on that horizon and maybe get some other horses. I don't know. It's hard. Like, I beat the entire playthrough with just Pebbles. I kind of want to do it again. I mean, Pebbles is such a good horse. He's a good boy. I assume it's a boy. Uh, we could take a bath to clean our clothes. But we're just going to head to the city first and sell some of my items. Let me just check. I don't know... How long? Obedience 57 now. <coughs> let, me, let me praise him real quick. I'm just kind of figuring out the dog mechanics here. That's a good boy. That's yeah. my boy. Mutt. Alright. This is so awesome. This is this whole campaign is just going to be a dog simulator now. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Oh my god, I had no idea you could have a dog companion. That's all I need in a game, you know? I remember Fable, you could have a dog companion. Um, there's a couple games where you can have to... What, um, oh, Fallout, New Vegas, what was it, Rex? The, like, uh, half-robot dog. Oh my god, that was so... I was so excited uh, in that in that uh, campaign uh, when, when you... What do you do a quest to try to save Rex, right? Because he has some, he needs a new brain or something like that. And you can kind of pick what kind of brain you wanted for him. Uh, like whether he was aggressive or something. Or whatever. Oh. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, the Rads of Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Um, I have to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. <sighs> now bugger off. Uh, I have to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzig what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Oh, okay. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. All right, you got it, buddy. I didn't gain any reputation there. Hey, 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 leave them alone, Mutt. They're not very friendly. They're not dog people. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that's the other thing I remember doing. Spitting on the peasants. Uh, this, so there's all the refugees of Scalots. They just kind of take in shelter in here. All right, so where are we going? Wait, where are we going? Oh, we gotta go this way. I completely have forgotten the layout of this city. Yeah, it's over here. 
Hey, 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 don't drink that. No, 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 no. Dirty water. Gross. Dirty water. <laughs> All right. I'm not mad at you. I'm just doing it for your own good. No, don't don't bark at the fine people. They've gone through enough. I can't help you. All right, so we're gonna make our way over here. There, he, there he is. I'm just always checking he's with me. Could that be the Smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, I was attacked by bandits and scallops. Bandits attacked me in scallops. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. Did someone sing into a horse? I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scallops? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. One of the guards like, Hey, wench! We're trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> yeah, the lady over there on the stairs was singing. That was pretty cool. I've never heard that before. I'm going to see Sir Radzik. speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm gonna find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. What are you doing, woman? Straw in your hair. Alright. Oh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, uh... Well, we don't want to lockpick this door. Oh. Is there actually poo-poo down there? Wait, what is this? What's the book icon? Oh, can I sit here and read? That's right, I have to learn. I do have a book, right? And I have to learn... Where is it? Oh. You don't have any reading skill needed to read this book. Oh, that's cool. Okay. But this is where you can get up and read? Or sit down and read? Anyways. Hey, hello? Oh. Really nice in here. God, I love this game. It really is like time traveling. I think we gotta go up another level. Stay down there, mutt. I don't know if dogs are allowed in here. Here we go. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. I like this guy. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, <laughs> but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed, but Pierre Stein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pierre Stein is at your disposal as long as you wish, your grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. 
I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for women in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first, if there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? And they chewed him I up. Let's get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, Puts a robot in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Nobody asked you, bro. Right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? No. So, oh, yes. 
Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Man, what a cool just conversation. Okay. Is this Pebbles, by the way? No, that's Sir Radzig's horse. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right, let me check... Um. How the sidekick's doing? Sense of smell, fifteen. Obedience, sixty-one. He's still doing. He's still doing good. Obedience. The dog armor. Wait, can you actually get him armor? No. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't see. I don't know how often I need to feed him. Why is my speech minus one? My speech is three. Why? Why is that? Is it because of my reputation? Ah, oh, here's the reputation. The dialogue. I don't know why it's... Oh, you know what? It's probably because I'm dirty. I think that's it. Alright, quest completed. Um, Let's go ahead and go to the market. And sell some of the I items we have to eat i'm starting to get hungry you're hungry again bro okay well we'll just I eat do. these poor people or a poor refugees food right here <laughs> there we go hey how's it going hey what's up where can i get some armor like that huh all right so this is the little marketplace of this town so many people died in this is the weaponsmith. We can go ahead here and sell some of our weapons. I'm not going to buy anything. Just because I don't really have enough money. Let's talk trade. Alright, so we're going to sell... This is almost like worth nothing, these axes, but... We might as well sell it. We're going to sell everything except for what I have. Um, I, yeah. I, I don't think I can sell armor to him, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and haggle, which it doesn't Let's help that I'm dirty. Place. I just realized. Naturally. It'd be better if I was clean. Do 12. Satisfied? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. All right. We'll do 11.5. Reputation gain. Nice. Okay. Hey, buddy. All right, so we're going to go over here, and I believe Fate goods fresh from this the is oven. armor. Come yeah, this is done. armor. Hello, I've got some armor to sell, I think. Good Actually, I might not. What do you need? Uh, let's talk trade. Ooh, training? Trainer. Some people can teach you for some lessons. Let's see, what does he train? Repairs. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. What cost you? Requires level 15. I'm not even level 5. I'd like to practice the basics. Alright. But it'll cost you. Yeah. Jeez. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. I got the money, but, you know. Alright, let's sell. So we can sell this. I think that's it. <laughs> Everything else we're using. Ah, it's like barely even worth it. But, you know, we just got to keep grinding away. Grinding away. So we'll go ahead and haggle this. Maybe we can get five gold talk about or groschen out of it. Naturally. Naturally. 
Is this enough? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Ah, come on. Agree? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. That sounds pretty interesting. Well, that's a decent price. Alright, so we got a little bit of gold there, just really trying to save it up. Because I do, I think, it's e now that I have a dog, it's easy to, um, you know. It's easy to keep me fed, but I'm definitely going to have to buy meat for the dog. So we're going to make our way over to the trainer. We are a little tired, but it's not too bad. What's up, buddy? Come on, come on. I'm not gonna have to sit here and praise you all the- Don't drink that water, it's gross! I don't- Was this always an option? Now he's digging. Oh, come on, buddy. Then we got some- some food here. Nice little baker. That would be a fun medieval job, being a baker, you know? Being a blacksmith would be really cool. Being a baker, running a tavern would be really cool. Literally, anything but- I don't know, being a soldier, <laughs> that would be tough life. No, it would be nice. I mean, it'd be better than being a peasant, I guess. A farmer would be really tough. You know, it's like, you get treated like crap. Uh, you know, if you get captured, no one's gonna ransom you. That kind of thing. Yeah, let's wash. Come on, buddy. Let me, let me praise him real quick. Good boy. That's my boy. Houndmaster, nice. Let's see what we can improve upon with our sidekick here. Let's see, skills, Houndmaster, right? Well, we just leveled it up. I don't think we unlocked a trait for it. Where is Houndmaster? Here it is. Yeah, we're, we're level one. Oh, cool. Very cool. Look at all the different skills he has. <laughs> See, this is why you gotta play RPGs multiple times. One, you can build your character differently. Like, uh, you know, obviously different skill sets. Um, you can also make different decisions. You can go with a dark, evil character or cruel character. Or you could go with an honorable one. Some RPGs, it has more of an effect than others. Like this one, you could be a cruel character, but the, the campaign, I assume, is going to play out the same. At least the main story. There might be some side stuff that might be a little different. Um, but yeah. I love Rate. Such a cool place. I think it's like the one of the biggest cities in the game. Alright, let's go. Let's go train. Hey, dude. Don't go easy on me, okay? Jesus Christ be praised. Amen. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Ratzik said. Yes, I am. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Ratzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. A good idea? Let's start with the basics. Yeah, why not? Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. And the Lord watch. All right. So let's see what you're made of. Hold okay. it properly and okay. keep moving. Okay. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Never stand still. Okay, move around. So this might be the similar. Right, good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Slash. Good. All right. Nice. Well done. Nice. Uh, that pointy tip isn't for decoration. Okay. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Yeah, so this is the pretty similar nice. Yeah, all right. tutorial well the be at, the, at the beginning of this game. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. 
One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Okay. Very good. There we go. Guys. Nice. All right. There we go. Now let's see how you do with defense. Agility went up. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Okay. Nice. nice. All right. Okay. Come on, attack me. All right. What? Ah, that's it. There we go. Okay. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Okay, here we go. Ow! <laughs> oh, it's not like the simulation! Good strike! Ow! Oh, what? Okay. All right, definitely not holding back. Dang it, dude. How do I, how do I, I always forget how to stop that. Nice. Sword reached a new level, nice. Fine, that's enough. I have my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Ugh. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. <laughs> if I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. I think we're dancing. Sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay. So, go up. Ah, that's it. Go down. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna attack on the opposite ah, side where he's holding. That. Very good. Ah, very good. There we go. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. <laughs> okay. With my cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Oh. So we, we have to learn to parry. Oh, my strength went up. This has been right, great for leveling you. up. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay. Ugh. Well done. Oh, nice. No, not like that. Uh, it's too late. It's too early. Sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Okay. Again. All right. Well, it's easy in slow motion. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Good. Nice. Ow. Very good. The fence went up. Nice. <laughs> right. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Okay. Uh, okay. Ow. Oh, I see you. Or when it turns to the green shield in the center is when you want to hit it. Nice. Ugh. 
Well done. Okay. Nice. So, like, as soon as his sword is moving forward. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably okay. won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Let's train. I will become the greatest fighter. <clears throat> Oof. I think I blocked it once. Yeah. Oh, hey. No time to celebrate. Wax on, wax off. Wait a while, Henry. Uh, oh, this guy. Good Mine. Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. I want to train at the archery. That's one thing I do want to get better Wait, at. we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Oh, nice. I like it. Okay, I see. Oh. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. How do I dodge? Raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Okay, dodging, move to the side. Back. Nice. Oh, okay. It's literally... Wrong, damn it! Okay. Not like that! Oh, I see, I see, I see. There we go. Very good. You just kind of like... Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll okay. see a strike before it's even properly started. Okay, why did it like... There we go. Ow! There we go, nice. Good. Nice. Not bad. That was a dodge. Ow. Nice. Not bad. Nice, 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 nice. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't ah, know yes. what to do. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Okay. Wrong, damn it! Good. Not bad. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, not like that! No, again! Wrong! Okay. Again. Prepare to strike by holding and then change. Ah. Not like that! No! Not bad. Okay. So just. No, that's not it! No, not like that! Not bad. It's a very subtle thing. No, not like that! No, that's not it! Very good! There we go. I kind of got that. I need to work on that more. It wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Okay. Sweet. We leveled up a ton. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Hell yeah. Dude, I don't remember this. Hey, hey, hey. That's not a good luck. Follow Bernard to the shooting range. Why don't I remember this?
That's the great thing about coming back to a game that you played right on release. You know, it's almost like a different game. All right, where's this archery range? Uh, we just gotta follow him. Yeah, so I guess this will be a longer video. The training here is taking a little while. But that's all right. I'm surprised he trains, he, he does archery, you know? He's like, I'm a knight, I don't do that archery stuff. Hey, buddy. Let me talk to him. Look what I've got for you. Give him a You'll little food. This. I'll feed him once in the morning and once before night. There you go, buddy. Be good. There'll be a tournament in Rate tomorrow. You can you can enroll by going to the Oh, okay. Yes, right. I remember the archery tournament, that's for sure. I think I did a little bit of archery in my first playthrough. I didn't do a ton, but I, I definitely did it uh, some. Hey, Mutt, stay away from the refugees. Uh, oh. I was like, where'd he go? Damn. Damn you. Okay, so archery is like riding a bike, you know? It's less complicated. You just It's more of a feel than technique. <laughs> hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Okay, now cool. Concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. All right, easy. Not enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. Okay. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. Okay. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't right. forget the arm okay. gun. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Okay. Well, please stop talking. Hans, you might want to move. That's there we go. Practice for a while. No All right. Nonsense. We're in the, the second ring. Well, that was awful. Oh, okay, thanks. I didn't imagine a village <laughs> yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. What? Dude. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivanov. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? <laughs> Calm down, boy. Keep it what did you talk. say? A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Ah, uh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can Oh, dude, himself, I can beat you. Try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, the rules of the game are simple. You shoot the seven arrows. The bullseyes were three. The middle ring, two. And the outside ring, one. The first to finish shooting gets an extra three points. Oh. Tied. Oh, uh, what? Did I shoot? That's that's not fair. I didn't shoot. 
Yeah, it was kind of like panic rushing. Let's try to beat that. Hans. Oh god, he might beat it. Let's see what he gets here. Yeah! We won! Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Oh, excuses, excuses. I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. All right, Excellent. let's do it. Then let's go. Let's now bash his skull in. Hans. Uh, Hans is actually not that bad of a character. All right. Uh, all right, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Okay, full. Bad, bad luck. Alright, let's try to get our fatigue up. Well landed. Okay, okay. We got some good hits in. You pay for we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We can do about two swings. Okay, good blocking. Good on you. Good on you. You got to. Okay. Okay, backed away from that one. Okay, good engagement, good engagement. This is worthy of a... See, I think I'm worthy of a fight. Okay, that sucks. Damn. Damn. This ah. Okay, we got a good hit. Nice. Ooh, we leveled up. Well. Right, let's take our time. Let's wait until we're fully got a full enough energy. Dang, dude. Hi. Oh, I think we hit him there. Okay. What are you laughing at? You're laughing at me, that's who. Ah, I missed the block there. Gotta keep looking for those blocks. You won't last long. Ah, missed the block. Nice. Oh, right in the face, dude. Bugger. Good block or dodge. Okay. Oh, oh 
getting, I'm beat, I'm almost gonna lose this. Was that a hit? Oh. I'm losing my form. Gotta slow down. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Come on then. Oh, I thought I was gonna dodge that. Bring it on. Okay. Okay, we got some good hits there. Enjoy. The block. Block. Nice. We got our defense up. Oh, yes! I think we got him. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. Hell yeah. Find it anyway. Get out of here. Hope you learned your lesson. Right, let's talk to this guy. Oh, wait. You know what? We're out of time. That took a while. So we'll end it here. Let's really quick level up and see what we got. And then we'll call it an episode. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Wanderer. Grew up in pop. No. Knight Rider. No. Definitely don't want manly order or odor. Uh, you'll last 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, no, I don't really want that. What is Wanderer? No. See, so increase the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. That's actually really good. So we'll, we'll do that. So we don't have to sleep as much. All right. Um, and then we got one for the sword. Nice. We got some new moves here. So we have Blunt Strike. Uh, which is middle, left, and then bottom right, or Zorn Ort, or Wrath Strike, slash, slash, stab. So slash, right, slash, and then stab. Uh, which one's probably, e they're about the same. This one starts with the with the stab, though. This one is, okay, we'll go with this one. Nice. Do we have anything else we can level up on? Yes, yeah, strength. Oh, man, this is great. So you clinch master give you a 40 percent higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch Ooh, that's good you can ooh, let's do this i feel like this is going to be more helpful nice okay and i think that's it for stats i don't think we have any more yeah we spent them all all right guys so that's gonna wrap it up thank you so much for joining oh really quick before you go don't go anywhere uh let's look at how much his bow's worth This is a good bow. Ooh. I might just sell the thing. It's worth 327 gold. We can get some good stuff for that. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. And I will see you soon in the next episode.